Hello! For the third Line 5 flight of the year, INSPAS is proud to welcome today the Galileo FOCN 8 mission to deploy four more Galileo satellites for the benefit of our customer, the European Space Agency, acting on behalf of the European Commission. INSPAS today reaffirms its company's important role in supporting European governments and institutions with independent, reliable, and available access to space. These four satellites are the number 23 to 26 of the overall Galileo satellite series and are the last units of the Batch 2 Galileo FOC satellites, all built by OHP company in Bremen, with a payload manufactured by SSTL based in UK. The flight configuration will be exactly the same as two previous IN5 ES FOC missions, VA233 and VA240 with the same specific dispenser carrying structure designed by Iron Group. Together with the four IOB satellites, the Galileo constellation will have now 26 satellites in orbit. The existing constellation already enables the system to provide a worldwide navigation service. And with the additional satellite, uh, the performance will, and availability will increase even further. This eighth Galileo FOC campaign has started in May 18, with the arrival in Guyane of the first pair of satellites following the month later by the, the second pair. Due to the skills and experience from the previous Galileo campaign and all the teams involved, the campaign has run very proficiently. I would like to, in particular to thank OHB and their uh, subcontractors, especially SSTL and EAL, Ariane Espace and CNES, Freelance, and the ESA team supported by the GSF Flight Kisev for the professional work done uh, during the campaign. For this launch, the third and last Ariane 5 es version dedicated to Galileo mission will be used with, in particular, a storable propellant upper stage, called EPS, compared to the commercial Ariane 5 EACA version, which have a cryogenic upper stage. The EPS upper stage engine operates with MMH and N204 propellants and allows recognition capabilities, essential for required Galileo mission performance. I wish a long life to Galileo Constellation.